What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the Valiverse Action Force Series 1 figures. So we ordered these from Big Bad Toy Store and they took forever to get here. Big Bad kept posting they were having issues with them being stuck on containers out at the ports. But they finally got them in and we finally have them here. So we finally have Series 1. We've already done part of Series 2. So I'll have that video linked at the end. But I believe we have pretty much all of Series 1 here. So first up we have Condor and Steel Brigade. And of course as we go through I'll tell you more about them and everything. But both just look like army style figures there and behind them we have bone collector and the swarm trooper so bone collector looks awesome with the bone mask and then the swarm trooper just another grunt trooper and for him we do also have this gear pack as well so we have this additional pack of like weapons and stuff to go along with it and our final figures Carrick and sergeant slaughter so we have like two like more leaders here Carrick of the garrison and sergeant slaughter of the axe and force and it looks like his hat's falling off a bit but those look really cool as well of course we've already looked at sergeant slaughter's with the series two so we'll have to look at those but all these figures look pretty cool. They're just like, you know, a different version of G.I. Joe's. So they're more just military characters with a whole storyline invented by the Valiverse guy. So pretty cool figures just all together to look at. So I'm excited to check them out. So let me get these all open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So we're going to start off with Condor, whose real name is Laird Barnes, and he's a British liaison officer to the U.S. and is present during the dissolution of the Union and becomes a captain of the Action Force. So all this information I'm getting from the file cards on the back, but there's a whole story about the dissolution of the United States and the separate like groups and territories. So it's a pretty interesting story like of the dividing of the U.S. So if you're interested in learning about that, the Valiverse website does have the whole story that breaks down stuff. So you can go read that if you want to learn a lot more. Like I said, I found it pretty interesting, but here we have have Condor as I said and overall he looks good so he is British as it says so there he has the Union Jack on his chest and has the Action Force logo there on the side so it's almost like a heart design with the wings coming off of it but there's a look at his face and overall it doesn't look bad like I know with the last wave one of my biggest complaints was that they were super shiny and they do have some shininess but at least with him like having more clothes and stuff it's not as shiny and his face doesn't seem to be as shiny but again this is wave one so if like there's going to be any like main issues and stuff with these figures it's going to start with these but overall I think his face looks good has nice hair design you know it does look like a military haircut and like, there's the face it looks almost like it's got a face scanning with all the dot design like it's kind of blurry as you see with the eyes but I like how with a lot of these figures they do put like some stubble design around their mouths and stuff so that's pretty interesting but overall good looking face then we have his outfit and I don't know a whole lot of like military stuff but he's got a nice green shirt on with some like different color patches so you can see there like on the arms and stuff the big vest over the top like I said that had the Union Jack and I like that lighter like baby blue color with some different designs on so of course a lot of pockets look like he has the little knife design and then just around on the back we have a holder and more of that blue color so I just like that vest just because of the blue mostly and then he's got some tan pants with some thigh holsters some knee pads and then all the way down to the green boots and I like the buckles and straps designed around on that and then he has some black gloves with the green design so overall looks pretty nice like no major issues with the look or anything here I think he looks pretty good and like I said the shininess doesn't seem to be as bad as it was with that second wave but overall he looks nice so we can do his movement so his head twists all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so not too bad I feel it could be a little bit better but it's just you know that's as far as it's going we get the shoulders that come up to 90 and they have the butterfly joint and of course can rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist double elbow joint that can bend up the only the lower ones bending the upper one seems to be stuck some but can bend up that far at least so pretty much 90 wrist can twist around and flex back and forth a lot of the joints on these figures are super roughs but it can flex back and forth I'm sure he's got some ab crunches and everything we'll see it better on other figures but you can see him crunch back and forth and he can twist around as well the hips can come up to 90 and out to the side that far so it's kind of like the drop down hips that GI Joes have just they don't don't drop down as much but you can kind of push them up in there a little bit more we have the thigh twist that can twist around the double knee joint that again feels really stiff that can get it to bend that far to the back which isn't bad we have a shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side but I can barely get it the twist on this figure it's just so stiff now I do want to say we did heat these figures up to get the joints loosened but I don't know if just they've kind of hardened back up again but it has the movements that they're just really stiff so you have to deal with that a lot with these and as we go through these figures you'll see a lot of the exact same movements they're pretty much all exactly the same so I'll try to go through those quickly but overall pretty good you know not the best figure because of all the stiffness but doesn't have too many limitations either and then he comes with a lot of accessories so we'll start with hands so he has like some grip hands here just like your standard grip hands well we get a set of fist hands so just a set of the fist we get a set of trigger fingers always important for 
the guns and stuff. So we have a set of trigger fingers. And finally, we get a set of the like, cupping hands. So these can be able to hold guns. So we have those two hands that are always good. We also get an additional head. So we had a head like this. I think it was Rollout. I don't even know if that's the right name. But we have the head all covered with the mask of the balaclava there in green that we could switch out if we want. We also have the helmet. So we get the helmet design again like we had with Rollout. So we have the all green helmet with the little like ear flap designs. Has the little goggle design or night vision, whatever you want that can just clip on the front there. So we can take this and put it onto his head. Now, unfortunately, when putting it on, these things tend to pop off with they just pop in and out with little pegs and stuff. But you can put that on his head to have that there. Or like I said, and like we did with Rollout, we can go ahead and switch the head out to this and have it completely covered and then put the helmet on, which fits a little bit better. But either way, you could have that. But I think I just like him unmasked. And then we get his weapon. So first off, we have a knife. So we have his cool looking knife design. This is always an awesome design. So with this, we can put it into his hand, obviously. But we have a little slot here in the back of his vest that we can slide it into. So it just sticks in there like that. We also get a handgun. So we have a handgun pistol design here. I like the green and black colors, which is cool. Again, we can put into his hand. But we'll just go and put it into the holster here. So it just slides right in the holster and looks pretty awesome there. And for his main weapon, we get the rifle. So I don't really know too many like weapon names or anything. But it looks just like a big awesome rifle. Has the magazine. Has the stock. A scope up top. Has the grip. And then a silencer on the end of it as well. Which looks pretty cool. And much like the last action forts, the magazines do actually come out. I feel it's going to be yeah, kind of stuck in there. But you can switch out the magazines, which is cool. And speaking of magazines, we also get an additional set of two magazines. And he has the pockets here on the front that have the holes in them. So we can slide these in there. So there I just slid those magazines. And now let's go ahead and put the gun in his hand. I'll have to switch out his hands to a trigger finger and everything. But let's try and get this in. So there's the rifle and Condor's hand. And that looks pretty cool. And of course, with a lot of these figures, they're going to look almost exactly the same. Just having the guns with the same poses. But overall, I think he looks pretty cool. And of course, finally, with the action force, we do get the base plate. So we have the cool diamond plated action force base. So we have the slot to put their data file and then the different pegs to stand them on. So let me just go and pop them on here. So it seems like everything else with this figure, it's hard to get his feet onto the peg. So he's kind of floating in the air right now, but still looks pretty cool. It'd be nice if we can just get it worked down on there so they can stand flat. Cause it's nice to always have a base to like steady your figures and everything. And overall, I think he looks pretty good. I think overall like the design stuff, of course, all the accessories he comes with. But like I said, we'll see a lot of the same things with these figures, but overall he looks pretty good. And next up, we have Steel Brigade, which is a code name for the Action Force Support Squadron, which is comprised of 80 highly trained shooters and airborne experts. So these look pretty cool. And again, these are just seem to be more like the faceless sort of like grunts and stuff, but look pretty cool and have a lot of similarities to Condor. Just a lot of like same basic design, just different colors and designs. So you can see he's got the helmet on for him since they're like airborne troopers. So they have like the breathing mask design and the helmet completely covering the face and just the visor in there. So I like that face mask design overall. He has the blue shirt on underneath so the dark blue going all the way into the gloves with the like gray it looks like on him then they have the vest over the top again just like condors just different color this time so it's more of this tan color with the dark gray plating up top and has the logo on him for there same sort of design stuff all the way around to the back and then going down we have the green pants legs getting some more thigh holsters and then the black boots on the feet again the exact same design as condor just all different colors for this one so his movements like I said are going to be pretty much exactly the same so the head can twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so not bad. Shoulders up 90. This one feels a little bit stiff. Can't get fully to 90 there and have butterfly joint. Rotation all the way around. Bicep twist. Double elbow joint. That's probably stiff. Can bend about that far. Wrist twist around and flex back and forth. Ab crunch and twist. Hips up 90. Out to the side that far. Thigh twist. Double knee joint that again is really stiff. Can bend that far to the back. Shin twist at the top of the boot. And foot flexes back and forth. And twist side to side. So yeah he's exactly like Condor. I just feel the biggest issue with these is the stiffness of their joints. They're just ridiculously stiff. I don't remember the second wave too well. So I don't remember if the joints were much better or looser. But I feel they need to rework the joints. Because they're just way too stiff on these. And we get pretty much all the exact exact same accessory just one minor difference so he's got two fist hands already so we get a set of just grip hands a set of trigger finger hands and then we get the cup hands as well and then we get the exact same weapon so first we have the knife so the cool knife again that can go into the exact same spot on the back we get the exact same pistol so same pistol just in a different color so all black this time that can go into the holster we get the two extra sets of magazines again that we can put 
in the front pocket. And finally we get his gun, which is a little bit different because this one has the grenade launcher on the bottom of it, which is cool. And then it's in this tan color with the black accessories attached. So let's try and put this in his hand. So there's Steel Brigade with the gun, which I think looks really cool. Now, unfortunately for him, his hands were so hard to get out to switch. So once again, the stiffness and tightness and everything with this figure, just trying to get his hands out was almost impossible. But I finally got it to be able to pose him there with the gun. And just like Condor and all the others, we get the action force plate. So let's try and pop him on. So there he is on the plate. And then he also came with some additional accessories, which I think is cool. So first off, we got a patch. We have this Steel Brigade patch, which looks really cool. I love the colors and like it's really smooth. Awesome, like the sword or dagger design. Of course, the Action Force sword logo and Steel Brigade there in the neon green just looks cool. So that's an awesome patch you can put on something. And then we also got a card as well, or this paper thing. So it says Steel Brigade official unit dossier and you can fill out all this sort of stuff. It has the same sort of like logo there on the background and everything. Just all sorts of cool stuff all the way down there. So pretty cool that this came with the figure as well, as well as that patch. So I think that's awesome to get that with Steel Brigade here. And next up, we've got Bone Collector, real name Alan Arthur, and he was a career armor and infantry officer that retired after the collapse of the Union. And Carrick, which we'll see as a figure, sought out his skills to become a commanding officer for the garrison, so that's like one of the split-off groups, and took up the name Bone Collector with a reputation for not taking prisoners and using brutal methods. So he sounds like a pretty evil guy here, but looks pretty cool. And again, you can see the scan design, so with the all dotted like eye design, and you can see again the stubble around his face, but the all bald head is pretty cool. And then for his outfit, he has like this big like flak jacket on with some sort of bullets or grenades or things there he's got long black sleeves and then some camo design pants so it's like a gray and green sort of color green gloves with black designs on them the thigh holsters much like the last two and then the black boots but these actually have the laces and stuff there so overall i like his look but his accessories what makes me like him even more but let's go do his movement so his head there can twist around maybe yeah kind of hard with the collar piece but can twist around he look down that far and up that far so probably the best movement so far shoulders can come up to 90 with the butterfly joint and can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist double elbow joint that can bend that far with the wrist very stiff wrist that can twist around there and flex back and forth again hit nab crunch and twist in there so crunch back and forth a little and can twist around hips up 90 out to the side that far thigh twist around double knee joint that's probably gonna be real stiff again can bend up that far shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so pretty much the exact same movements as the last figures but overall he was a little bit smoother so i don't know if we just got him heated up better and his joints a little more loosened but either way he did work a little bit better but pretty much the same now for his accessories gonna have pretty much again the same standard stuff so we get a set of grip hands since he has fist on already so we get a set of grips the trigger fingers and the cupping hands now what i really like for him is his bone mask so this looks really cool so with the name bone collector he's got a bone mask here with the awesome like fang design stuff i wonder what he got this from but it just looks really cool so this we can just take and slide onto his head so and with him being bald it fits on super easily so it just slides on there so that looks really cool there that is just an awesome face mask for weapons we get a knife but this time he has the kakuri knife so we've seen these before with action force and other figure stuff so that's cool and he has the slot there on his back so we can slide this in there now unfortunately it doesn't feel like it goes all the way through for some reason because that's as far as I can get it slid in there so that really stinks that we can't get this in any more than that so yeah unfortunately we can't do that he comes with a pistol so he has this all silver pistol that looks just like a standard like realistic pistol so that's cool we can put this into the holster here on his thigh so there's the pistol just slid right in there he also comes with additional magazines so for him he has the slots there on his other thigh that we can slide him in so they just fit right in there and finally we have his rifle which is just like the last one so it has the rocket launcher on the bottom of course the additional magazine and I love the like green barrel design so that looks really cool so again, another gun we can put into his hands. So I'll see how hard it is to get his hand switched out to put this in. So unfortunately, I was not able to get his other hand out at all. So I can only put the gun in his one hand. But overall, I think that looks pretty cool. I like the design. Like I said, the mask is what makes me like this figure the most. Without it, he's just a bald guy. But with the mask, it adds so much to it. And just the overall design of him with, like I said, this like flak jacket. So overall, he looks awesome. And of course, we get the base plate for him as well. So we can pop him on. So he's on the base there. And overall, looks pretty good. Like I said, not much of a figure itself. But with that bone mask and stuff, bone collector looks really cool. And next up, we have the Swarm Trooper, which is a paramilitary group made of former military personnel from the U.S. and foreign nations that underwent surgery to install a neural implant into their brains to give them all a hive mind. So that's why they're like insect related, especially with the red and yellow design for bees. So pretty cool for the Swarm here. And we have the Swarm Trooper. We've had the Scarab in the last wave, so we can bring that in. So there is the Scarab. So we have, you know, like more like grunts and then maybe higher ups and stuff here. So it's cool to have both of those there together. But overall, the Swarms look pretty cool. Like I said, 
said with the yellow and black design, you know, the bee colors and stuff have the all like robotic like armor and stuff. So I assume it's just armor, but like I said, just with the steel and everything, it looks very robotic. So all the way up their legs, got some on the arms there with some yellow, of course, the yellow and black jumpsuits underneath, the big chest armor piece on here, like the like shoulder pieces and then the mask design. So these big like bug like masks with the bug eyes in there that are pretty cool. So the yellow color, but has all like the texture and stuff to it to give it like the fly eyes. So that just overall looks cool. Just an awesome design. Just overall, I like the colors and everything stand out about this. But for movements, we get the head that can twist all the way around and can look down that far and up that far. So pretty good movements. Shoulders. Yeah, I felt with the armor can only go up so far. So maybe 45 degrees there, but it has the butterfly joint and rotation all the way around. Bicep twist, double elbow joint that can bend up that far. Wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Now on him, we can see ab crunch is pretty good. So we have the upper ab crunch so you can crunch back and forth and twist a little there side to side. And then we have the lower crunch at the waist as well. So crunch back and forth and twist there as well. Now overall, the twisting doesn't feel that great, but it feels like I possibly am gonna break these, so I'm not doing too much. But I'm sure if you got it worked and they were able to, you could probably just give them to twist all the way around. Then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and out to the side that far. A little bit of issues because it has like this harness piece that's around on the thigh, so it gets in the way. But we have a thigh twist in there, a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back, probably the closest to kicking his own butt. And then we get the foot that can flex back and forth. Very little though for this figure. You can't get it to move much more than that. And again, pretty much no twisting side to side. I don't know if it's just stuck or what the deal is, but it is also his leg looks like it's kind of twisted out to the side. I don't know if there's like an ankle twist in there, but I feel it needs to be twisted more straight on because it's a little bit curved out to the side. Don't know if it's just the way the figure's designed or if we just don't have the joints loosened enough. But either way, he has the best movement so far just because he has the least armor limitation. So that makes us cool and we can see more of the actual body. But for accessories, we get a lot of the same accessories again. So he has two fist hands. So we get the grip hands as well as the trigger finger hands. And finally the cup hands. We get a lot of the same weapons. So we get the knife design there. So pretty much same knife design, just mostly all black this time. And he has a little sheath down here on his belt in the back so we can just slide that in. He has the same sort of pistol design we saw with the first two characters, just in yellow and black this time that we'll put into the holster. And that holster is the same as the others as well. And then he comes with his main gun of a rifle of some sort. Almost looks like a sniper rifle just with the longer barrel and design. Just this big giant section here which is pretty weird. So this would be cool to put into his hands. Let's see if I can get his hands switch out. Hopefully I can because I want to put guns in. But we may be running out of me being able to put guns in hands. But let me try it. So there's the swarm trooper with that gun. So that looks pretty cool. But as I showed in the opening we also got the swarm gear. So we have a lot of extra stuff to throw in here. So first off we have the set of wings. So this cool wing design again looks like a bumblebee with the like button of the black and yellow. We have the wings here as well that we can fold out. Of course have the like swarm logo like beehive design on there so that's pretty cool so we have this that's just like a backpack that we can stick into the back so he has a peg hole there so we can just slide this in so there he's got the wings on and that looks really cool and he comes with some extra guns as well so first off we have the little machine gun again i don't know what guns are and stuff but it looks pretty cool but the nice little machine gun design in the black and yellow as well as a grenade launcher here so that looks pretty cool as well so we can switch either of those out if we wanted to instead of the gun he came with we also get a shield design so pretty cool shield again with the beehive design design of the swarm logo there and it has the handle piece there so we could switch this out if we want I don't think I have the right hand in don't want to worry about switching out but you can obviously put this into his other hand maybe put that little gun or the pistol into this hand to be able to hold the shield and the gun at the same time but that looks pretty cool and I assume he comes with the same steel grading plate with the action force but at least with this pack he also came with a yellow design one so pretty cool with the yellow see-through so let's pop him on that one and unfortunately I'm not even able to get his feet onto the peg so unfortunately he'll just have to stand on this but Either way, it looks cool. I like him more, especially with the gear pack. So he has the wings and everything. And of course, all the different weapons if you want to switch those out. Either way, I think he looks pretty cool here with this design for the Swarm Trooper. And next up we have Carrick whose real name is Reginald Richards and he was a career army officer with skills in psychological operations and his brutal tactics earned him a reputation and when the US fractured New Colonia sought him out to lead their garrison so he's like the opposition leader to lead them in an all out war and he took up the name Carrick and would kill anyone who got in his way so he's like a ruthless leader but I think he looks pretty cool so he has the bald head again so much like Bone Collector but he's got the beard that looks pretty cool so the big thick beard it's almost like a blondish or gray 
gray color than just the angry face. So I like his face design overall. But he's just got like a gray tank top on with this vest jacket over the top with the fur collar and rim sides it looks like there. So that's an awesome design. And then he's got the all black tactical pants. He's got the thigh holsters with different holders on there. And then the boots, much like Bone Collector as well, just has some green into him. So overall, he looks really cool. There's the logo there on the back, probably for the garrison. And just overall, an awesome looking character design, especially when we get his additional weapons. But for his movements, his head there can twist around. It's hard with his jacket there. We can get it twist all the way around. He can look down that far and up that far. So not bad. His shoulders up to 90 with the butterfly joint. Rotate all the way around. Bicep twist, double elbow joint, bends that far, wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Again, with him, we can see the crunch. So we have crunch there, the upper one, so crunch back and forth a little and twist. And then we have the lower one, which is, for him is much looser. So crunch back and forth and twist. Hips up 90 and out to the side the far, thigh twist around, double knee joint that bends that far far to the back, shin twist at the boot, and then the foot flexes back and forth and twists side to side. So again, real stiff and has same movements as the other figures. And he also has a lot of same accessories. So he's got grip hands there. So we get a set of fists, the trigger fingers, and the cupping hands. But what's really cool about him, much like Bone Collector had the mask, he also has a mask or a helmet in this case. And so he has this all like metal like knight's helmet that looks really cool with the red on the sides of it. Just looks awesome. So we can just go and slide this down onto his head. And when you position it right, that just looks super Super cool with that mask on there as well so he looks really cool and he has a number of weapons so first off we have a knife so big like buoy knife that looks really cool big awesome knife which is we can just take and slide into the holder here so it just slides in there we also get a pistol so he has like just a real basic pistol design which is okay and we'll go and slide into his holder we'll go and do this one now but he has a shotgun so it comes with a sheath that we can put into his back has the little peg there but has the shotgun that looks really cool just this all black shotgun but for now it's going to just slide it in there and then we'll stick this into his back so it just sticks in his back there like that which is really cool but the weapon I like the most and I feel fits with this helmet the best is this axe so it comes with this awesome looking axe so we can go and take this and put into his hand so there's Carrick with the axe and the knife in his hand I think that looks really cool it makes him seem much more savage and brutal and everything so he looks cool there and of course we can bring in Bone Collector his like second in command so both of those look really cool together with their helmets and everything so those just look awesome especially Carrick and finally, we have Sergeant Slaughter. Of course, he's a retired basic training drill sergeant. And following the U.S. collapse, he was brought in to serve as an advisor to the new team of Action Force to pass on his experience and knowledge. So, of course, we've looked at Sergeant Slaughter before, especially for the Action Force. We had the Series 2 version. And, of course, I like Sergeant Slaughter because I'm a wrestling fan. So, knowing him from wrestling. And then he was a part of G.I. Joe as Sergeant Slaughter. So, very cool to get him here in Action Force. And we can go and bring in that version, too. So, this one looked much more like he was ready for battle and stuff with his outfit outfit design where this one he's got the jacket but there you can just see the two differences between the figures from series one and series two there so either are bad it's just you know whichever one you'd more prefer and I just couldn't find the rest of his outfit but for this one I do like this mostly overall just with the jacket and I like the design darker pants design so he's got the green jacket black tank top the dark green supposed to be camo it's hard to see the camo design but they are in there and then the black pants has the thigh holsters and everything so overall looks pretty good and much like Sergeant Slaughter especially with the face with the big protruding chin and everything so looks pretty good just overall. For movements, the head can twist all the way around, look down that far and up that far, so pretty good. Shoulders up 90 with the butterfly joint, rotate all the way around, bicep twist, double elbow joint bends that far, wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Again, we can see the ab crunches and twists in there, so we have the upper crunch back and forth and twist side to side, and then the lower and twist. Hips up 90, out to the side that far, thigh twist around, double knee joint that bends up that far to the back, shin twist at the top of the boot, and and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. And once again, same movements as all the other characters. So not bad. And then he comes with a number of accessories. So some are going to be very classic for him. But first off, we got hands. So he's got two grips. So we get the fist hands, the trigger finger hands the cupping hands and most important for him we get the pointing fingers so he can be yelling and directing and stuff so very cool he comes with the pointing hand and then we get accessories like I said are very important so first off we have a set of glasses so we can take these and just slide them onto his head hopefully they'll sit on so kind of hard to get them on his face but there's how they sit so not very good I don't like usually glasses on figures because they never look good but there he is there and then we also get his hat as well so we have his hat there which is pretty cool that we can put on so there's his hat and with the glasses like I said doesn't really fit on too well because the hat 
math and glasses don't work well together but just seeing it there straight on doesn't look too bad so that looks like sergeant slaughter and then he's got some weapons so first off he's got a big like buoy knife again but i like how his handle has the eagle head on it which is cool and we can put this in the sheath on this side so it can just slide right in there and then we also get his gun so very cool looking revolver gun with all silver and stuff that we can put into this holster so i like that holster design because it's different from any of the others we've seen probably exact like wave 2 version but either way it looks very cool there and of course he comes with the base i forgot Carrick had one too but yeah they all come with this plate that we can pop him on so i was going to try and switch some of his hands out but i cannot get his hands out at all so i'm just going to have to leave him like that unfortunately but either way he still looks cool i really love the look of him i just wish like the glasses hat design could fit a little bit better and then i could just get his hands switched out but not a horrible figure just obviously not the best well, there's all the figures of our Action Force Series 1, which had a lot of cool looking figures. I like a lot of the character designs and then just their backstories. I just wish these figures were better. Like, I'm pretty disappointed in these. Like, so I don't know if this is just because they were the first wave. So that's when you're going to have the most issues or if it's just because the figures in general. Like I said, I can't remember Series 2 that well. But I was just overall very disappointed just because of the stiffness of the figures. Try and get the hand switch out. Like I showed on some of them, I couldn't get some of their hands even switched. My fingers are killing me. I don't know if it shows in the camera, but like my fingers are all red and they hurt try and get the hands switched out and then moving the joints almost all of them were stiff even though we did heat them all up and get them loosened but they've all stiffened back up again and then I also couldn't get barely any of them on their plates like fully on their plates they were just still hovering off the ground so pretty disappointed in these figures overall just myself I think they look cool I like that they come with more realistic guns and they're much more improved over the classified series in that aspect and I like the whole storyline that the Valorverse people have created I just overall don't really care too much for these like I said with all the issues I've had and then the not being like more name brand characters like Sergeant Slaughter obviously I know so I like him more than any of the others I just have much more interest in the known brand so like G.I. Joe in this case they're not absolutely horrible figures they just will take a lot of work so if you are interested in like they look cool like Carrick obviously looks really cool but if you want to get these figures if you have interest in them I'd maybe get one and try it out like I said you'll have to heat them up try and get it to work out you know try and get everything done you'll like said need like a blow dryer or boiling water just to be able to get them to work out so then maybe once you deal with it you'll like them but like I said for me personally just dealing with them here today they made me more angry than anything else so I don't like them too much but I can't say just don't get them because of that but let me know your opinions of the action force figures down in the comments have you picked any of these up for yourself and do you like them just let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with the thumbs up one thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review